This is a quick video comparing two Zippos. At this time, the lighter on the left was one of the top of the line technology lighters of the 1980s. It was built by Zippo, but they outsourced it to a company in Japan because I don't really know why, but I figure they didn't have the equipment and ingenuity back then to make this butane lighter. It was called the Zippo Contempo. This lighter here is the Zippo Blue 2. The first blue has a different shaped case. It's more of an oval. The Blue 2 came out in the late 2000s. And the Blue 1 originally came out in 2005, but it was so unreliable that they actually recalled them. And they did a massive a massive repair of all of them to replace the inserts in them so they would work and they re-released it in 2007. They started by selling off the 2005 models and then they started manufacturing the 2007 models. Um, I decided to compare the Blue 2 to the Contempo because it looks similar and it's more or less the same size. There's one difference between these two that is very important. Both come with a lifetime warranty. The Contempo Zippo stopped repairing in 1992. If you send in a broken Contempo, and they were very unreliable by the way, they will send you, from what I hear, I'm not sure about this because I've never sent one in, they will send you a blue, probably a blue one, a model one. But still, they'll send you a blue. Um, the big difference on these two is this one's always got a lifetime warranty no matter what happens to it, even though now it's going to be replaced. And if you want, they'll send you back the old broken lighter. This one isn't like Zippo's other warranties. This one has um, a limited lifetime warranty. If it is crushed, it's not under warranty. If this screw is tampered with, it's not under warranty. This screw has epoxy in it. If Zippo sees that the epoxy has been damaged in any way, your warranty is automatically void. And Zippo Blues, many of them have many problems, especially the Model 1. The Model 1 has a lot of issues with filling and whatnot. And you have to send them in to get a new insert, which Zippo has to install. And the new inserts are a lot more reliable. This one's actually really reliable. Um, also, my Model 1 is very reliable because I had to send it in. It was a 2005 model, so it probably means it had a 2007 insert in it. And it just did not want to fire. It would not hold fuel. It was, quite honestly, a pretty bad butane lighter. But let's still, still, let's, let's compare this. This was made from 85 through somewhere around 1989. When I say it was the top of the line butane lighter, they sold these in jewelry stores, mostly. You could buy them in other places, but the only place I've ever seen them was in, uh, I've heard of them being sold of, was out of um, jewelry stores. And they came in a clamshell box, just like a fine piece of jewelry. Um, they were also, at the time, like the third most expensive Zippo you could buy, next to, like, the sterling silver windproofs and the solid gold, well, the gold Zippos. 
the big giant difference between these two is even though they both ignite with a flint, this one has a candle flame, like on a big lighter, where this one has a blue jet flame. The other major difference is when you open the top on this one, the fuel automatically starts flowing, and it will stay lit as long as the top is open or it runs out of fuel. This one, when you open the top, it won't do anything until you hold down on the flint wheel for about one second. It even says this in the instructions. You hold it down for one second, that releases some fuel. And then you strike the flint wheel and press down on a black button. When that black button is pressed, it continuously lets the fuel out until you let go of the button. Then the flame dies. Now let's compare these two uh, flame-wise. Here's the Zippo Contempo. Like I said, it was the top of the line in butane lighter technology. It was extremely expensive to build, extremely expensive to repair. That's why Zippo stopped making them. They actually cost so much that, you know, that's why they stopped fixing them. But top the line still more or less. Open the top, flick. Want to see that again? Open the top, flick. There's the flint wheel. There's the butane outlet. And that's a Zippo Contempo. It's very rare to see these working. And the ones that work go for a higher premium on auction sites. This is heavily used, and I was actually surprised when I got it and it worked. Now the Blue 2. Zippo spent a long time from what I have read, on just getting the top to sound like any windproof lighter that they've made. That same iconic ping noise. It doesn't exactly sound like it, usually. I've heard a few blues that sort of do. This one sort of does, but it's still not a windproof. And the case doesn't feel as good. Plus the top... When you close it, if you close it like that, it doesn't close all the way. You actually have to really snap it down to close it. In my opinion, it's kind of shoddy quality for something with a Zippo name on it. But it still works good. And it's still a good lighter. Now, in these days... This is the top of the line affordable, affordable butane lighter you can buy. It's not the top of the line butane lighter, but for affordable purposes, it's good. You can get these from anywhere between 25 to hundreds of dollars. Depends to finish what not, you know, but still, it's a pretty decent lighter. It's good for cars only, though. Where the Contempo is good for lighting cigarettes and pipes, because it won't burn the pipe. This is really only designed for cigar lighting. If you try to light a cigarette with it, you might burn your nose off. Especially in the daylight, because the blue flame is so hot that in the daylight you almost can't see the top of the flame. And actually, sometimes you can't see the top of the flame. Um, but anyway, this is the Blue 2. And it's pretty good ingenuity. The difference between this and the Contempo is the top of this, I mean, this doesn't have a fuel flow control valve. You can't control how tall the flame is. And I think it's more of a safety reason. But anyway, you can the Contempo. 
But anyway, let's give this a try. There was the iconic ping. Hold down the flint button. Oops. Sometimes these don't light automatically. Hold down the flint button. There we go. Here's the Zippo Blue. And the Blue 2 and the Blue both have the same insert. And they work the same. And see, I let go of the button. And it stopped. Try it one more time. There we go. First try. There's the Zippo Blue. Now just one more for the heck of it. We'll compare how well these stay lit by not holding them. Here's the Contempo. I let go of it. Here's the Blue. Oops, I let go of the button. It went off. Try it one more time. Nope, can't let go of it. And now the top's not closing. Like I said, it's not the world's greatest lighter. There we go. Oh look, the Contempo still lit. But in all reality, even though it's still lit, it's amazing this thing lights to begin with. The components in this thing gunk up over time, and they just stop working. Sometimes they don't just gunk up. Pieces fell. I've taken these apart. The whole unit is like a soldered copper insert, and it's just not repairable. I figure when Zippo would repair these, they'd just throw out the insert, which is more or less what they do with the blue too. And the blue. You send it in, they take the screw out, they pull out the insert, they put a new insert in, they put the screw back in, they put the epoxy back on it, and there you go. And they trash the old insert. This must have been the same way in their repair center on how they fixed them. They take the screw out in the bottom. They do... These things are really hard to get apart. It's a long explanation how you even get the insert out because it's in like a billion different pieces. But they take the screw out, completely re replace all the fuel components and put it all back together. And there you go. So to end, that is Zippo's butane lighters. These are their pocket lighters though. Zippo has also made other butane lighters, but they are called MPLs. The first MPL which stands for multi-purpose lighter. The first MPL was very unreliable. Uh, it had some safety issues. It could spew fuel. It wasn't a good lighter. And a lot of them got recalled. And um, then they went to the mini MPL, which was actually built worse. And these are both Chinese lighters. Zippo outsourced them to China to be built. All right, they're just not good lighters. I don't even believe they have lifetime warranties. I'm not really sure on that one. But I don't own one because I don't want one. <laughs> but I do know the first generation, even though it was a lot less reliable, people tend to like it better because it was longer and it was made out of metal where the new ones are made out of plastic from what I hear. Yet again, I, I don't know. But that's what I hear. Anyway. Zippo's butane lighters.
One last thing, I, I totally forgot this. The Contempos came in two sizes. I've got a few of those, but I, I don't want to bring them on camera. I'm trying to film this whole video in one sh take, which is hard for me to do to begin with. But these also came in a one that was slightly taller and about two-thirds the width. Um, it was about this tall. It was called the trim, which is comparable to the slim model of the windproof. Um, they were more intended for women. Uh, they also worked and functioned, looked and functioned a little differently. But yeah, that's the trim. If you look at my other video, which I happened to film in portrait instead of sideways, didn't realize until halfway through the video and decided not to finish, uh, I mean refilm the video. Um, if you watch my other video, I compared the Contempo in blue again. Um, and I also repeat, and lastly, about a billion times, and I'm sorry about that if you watch my other video, but it has a slim in it and it also has the Model 1 blue if you'd like to see that. I will have a link in the description so you can see the slim, I mean the trim, and the Model 1 Blue in comparison. You don't have to watch through the whole video. Um, the blue pops up about two-thirds, three-fourths of the way through the video. And um, the slim, I mean the trim, pops up somewhere in the middle part. So if you just seek through it, you'll, you'll find them. But once again, Zippo's butane lighters.